the perfect dip. Uh, of course, I'm not talking about these ones today. But about the perfect exercise to build strong arms and a prerequisite for most calisthenic skills. From range of motion, body tension to arm position, let's cover it all step by step. Dips engage many muscles in your body, but especially your triceps, anterior deltoids and your pecs. Actually, dips put a lot of pressure on your muscles, thus you have to adapt to them slowly, otherwise they can affect you negatively. Before you do any exercise, have a proper warm-up to prevent unnecessary injuries. Let's have a look on the bars first. You can do dips of course using two bars or simply one. There are obviously differences in terms of how you do the dip, but today I focus on the classical one using two bars. Ideally, the bar should be shoulder width apart. But I'm aware the distance is different from bar to bar and calisthenics park to calisthenics park, but that's not a problem. As long as it's not too far or too close, you will be fine. At the highest point, your hands should be already automatically around your hip region. Until here, there is not much you can do wrong. Depending on the bar height, you can bend your legs or stretch them, doesn't really matter. But it's extremely important to keep body tension at all times. Don't hang loose, push your shoulders down a little bit, that will ensure stability and body tension. Now, while you go down, lean slightly to the front. This happens actually also almost automatic. But don't bend your spine, that's not the same. The reason why it's beneficial to bend forward slightly is because it reduces the stress on your shoulders and puts more weight onto your triceps. I mean, it's not necessarily wrong to do dips like that, but you will definitely exhaust much faster. While going down it's also easier to flex the hips than keeping a straight line. I personally still recommend keeping this line as it's highly beneficial for calisthenic skills like the front lever or the planche, if you want to learn them one day. Regarding the dip depth, you definitely have more stress on your shoulders the lower you go. That can be both good and bad. On one side you have a higher risk for injuries, but on the other hand you have a greater range of motion and greater range of motion means more gains. So how far down should you go then? The rule is stay in the range where you feel comfortable. Don't force it, during the motion you will feel where the deepest point you can reach is and everything beyond that is to avoid. As soon as it gets really painful, immediately stop. And please, avoid doing any half dips, that's just a waste of time. Even if you can just do one, do it fully or don't do it at all. To enhance muscle growth even further, I recommend to go up fast but controlled and go down slowly and safely. And when doing multiple dips, have a certain consistency. Every dip should be performed with the same quality. It's not like passively watching TV. To maximize gains, actively think about and feel which muscles work. Literally absorb the tension. Quality over quantity, always. Furthermore, make sure to keep your elbows close, but not too close to your body. Just like with push-ups, having your elbows too far away from your body can lead to impingement due to narrowed subacromial space. I almost got the bursa in my left shoulder cut out some years ago because of that, so really take care. When you push back to the starting position, squeeze your shoulder blades. At the highest point, avoid overstretching of your elbows to protect your joints. Also, go an extra distance and put your scapulae up. If you are a beginner or struggle with dips, simply do it while standing. That's one of the best preparations you can do. Put an object under you, for example, if the bars are too high. Alternatively, use resistance bands. They definitely can be of big help. If you want to level up your dip game, put a resistance band around your neck. Going up will be much harder. You can also use rings where you have to additionally balance yourself. And there you can adjust the width as you please. Alright calisthenic athletes, I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep these points in mind next time you are about to train dips. Before you leave, subscribe for more tutorials, stay healthy and see you next time.